93% chronic liver patients have vitamin D deficiency. Vitamin D is a group of fat soluble and responsible for increasing intestinal absorption of calcium, magnesium, and phosphate, and many other biological effects. That plays a biphasic role in human health, with both intoxication and insufficiency compromising cardiovascular physiology. Vitamin D is highly fat soluble and becomes part of mixed micelles during fat digestion. In this video, we will discuss why chronic liver patients have vitamin D deficiency. Before that, I would request if you are new to our channel, please like, share, and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get the new video updates. Vitamin D can be obtained from dietary sources of vegetal vitamin D2 called ergocalciferol and animal origin vitamin D3 called colocalciferol. Vitamin D has been associated with many diseases pathogenesis including autoimmune disease, cardiovascular disease, cancers, inflammatory processes, and liver diseases. Around 50% of dietary vitamin D is absorbed by the enterocytes and transported to the blood circulation through chylomicrons. Vitamin D is taken up by a variety of tissues like fat and muscle before the chylomicron fragments and its vitamin D finally reach the hepatocytes. Best vitamin D food sources are fatty fishes like tuna, natural butter, natural milk cream, and egg yolk, mushroom, carrot. Both humans and cow's milk is not sufficient sources of vitamin D by providing only 15 to 40 IU, L, and they include equally minimal concentrations. 25 OHD or 1, 25 Ohio 2D.15. In a research case study by NHANES 3 database, it is reviewed there were 6,000 plus patients and divided into two groups called 1. Control Group 2. NAFLD Group Out of them, 300 plus patients showed unexplained elevation in alanine aminotransferase and low vitamin D levels in NAFLD group than the control group. However, Vitamin D deficiency and NAFLD have direct and indirect associations with obesity and inactive lifestyle. It is not unexpected that vitamin D deficiency would be a co-factor in the pathogenesis of NAFLD. The main aim of this study research was to determine the relationship between the serum vitamin D level assessed by 25 hydroxyvitamins called D3 equals 25 OH D3 and NAFLD in adults. In the research, the following data were collected for each patient eligible for the study such as age gender, residency, smoking status, body mass index, fasting blood glucose, hemoglobin A1c, hemoglobin, white blood cells, platelets, total bilirubin, alanine transferase, aspartate transferase, total albumin, total plasma protein, alkaline phosphatase, international normalized ratio, creatinine, blood urea nitrogen, cholesterol, triglyceride, low-density lipoprotein, and high-density lipoprotein. Moreover, serum 25, O, D level was measured for the both groups. Vitamin D deficiency was defined as 25, O, H, D levels less than 20 nanograms per milliliter, while vitamin D insufficiency and sufficiency mean that serum 25, O, H, D are equal to 20 to 30 nanograms per milliliter and 30 to 100 nanogram per milliliter respectively. Ultrasonographic and Doppler test. In addition to, we used ultrasonographic test for grading of fatty liver for the patients like following. Grade 0. Normal liver echogenicity. Grade 1. Diffusely increased hepatic echogenicity but paraportal and diaphragmatic echogenicity are still appreciable. Grade 2. Diffusely increased hepatic echogenicity obscuring paraportal echogenicity but diaphragmatic echogenicity is still appreciable. Grade 3. Diffusely increased hepatic echogenicity obscuring paraportal as well as diaphragmatic echogenicity. Both of the groups were comparable in all demographic data except the body mass index, BMI, which was significantly higher in the NAFLD group like following.
30.8 plus or minus 6.3 kilograms per square meter versus 34.6 plus or minus 4.3 kilograms per meter 2. P equals 0.012. As per Fibroscan report, the means CAP and LSM were significantly higher in the NAFLD group. 30.8 plus or minus 6.3 kilograms per square meter versus 34.6 plus or minus 4.3 kilograms per meter 2. P equals 0.012. Diagrammatical representation for both of the groups. Analysis of the research study. It is confirmed. About 70% of patients with NAFLD had vitamin D deficiency, but only 35% in the control group as seen. Low vitamin D is predominant in chronic liver disease patients. Even patients with mild liver disease are affected although patients with liver cirrhosis are more commonly have severe deficiency. Low serum levels of vitamin D have been observed in chronic liver diseases, especially with liver cirrhosis, while in patients with NAFLD, the data are still scanty. This study proves that the serum 25 OHD was significantly lower in the NAFLD group than the normal control group. It is also noticed more than two-third of NAFLD patients was vitamin D deficiency. On the other hand, only one-third of the control group was vitamin D deficiency. If you are a chronic liver patient with having vitamin D deficiency, what is you are taking for vitamin D supplement currently? Please share in the comment box. Please support our channel, like, share and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get the new video updates. So, in the research report found, liver patients should do medical tests for vitamin D and have vitamin D supplementation can be considered as an effective strategy in management of patients with NAFLD.